The sport, fitness and recreation sectors are extremely important to our health and well-being. They're playing an increasingly important role in our economy too. Almost 96,000 people now work in the industry, with employment growing by 34% between 2006 and 2011. And for sectors that have traditionally relied heavily on volunteers, it's impressive that they are expected to be Australia's 17th largest employer by 2017. The industry is made up of the sport, fitness, community recreation and outdoor recreation sectors. Organisations operating in this space include not-for-profits, including those run by volunteers, government bodies and commercial enterprises of all sizes, ranging from large companies to sole traders like personal trainers. Exercise is needed more than ever as our population ages, moves less and becomes increasingly unhealthy. Nearly two-thirds of adult Australians are now overweight or obese. The sport, fitness and recreation industry can play a significant role in keeping us healthy, but it needs to provide services at the level we have come to expect. That is more personalised, better and faster. Services have to fit with people's busy lifestyles. Already 11% of us belong to a gym that's open 24 hours a day. The global trend towards personalised service is reflected in the booming market for group personal training. The sports sector has also adapted by offering new and modified formats to counter declining participation rates. The industry plays an important role in sustaining our mental well-being. For instance, community recreation facilities provide opportunities for social interaction which can help reduce anxiety and stress. For their part, sporting groups are offering programs that support people with mental health issues. Technology provides opportunities for the industry. With the right skills, it can be used for cost-effective marketing and keeping in contact with clients, with the potential to expand an organisation's customer base using online classes to increase scalability. A key issue in these sectors is their reliance on outdoor spaces and natural resources. They may need to adapt their practices in the face of increased competition and rising costs for some resources, like water. To meet the challenges ahead, the industry needs to become more professional. This is difficult given the high number of volunteers who can be hard to retain, support and develop professionally. The sectors within sport, fitness and recreation also need to work together more, including exploring the potential to offer career pathways between sectors, which would reduce some of the transients in the workforce. As the organisation responsible for skills development in the industry, we are responding to this need by merging qualifications between sectors to give graduates a better range of skills. Additional communication and facilitation skills are also being included in all qualifications to enable people to communicate more effectively with their diverse client base and in some cases with healthcare professionals. Mandatory work assessment hours may also be introduced in some units to address concerns about job readiness. To download our Sport, Fitness and Recreation Environmental Scan, go to serviceskills.com.au.